but I just want to start on NHS pay, if I may. Um, the government deciding uh, to uh, give nurses a pay rise of just 1%. What is it about the last year that's made the government feel that nurses deserve a pay cut in real terms? Well, the government has at every stage been clear in terms of our commitment to the NHS. This is why over the last year we've seen an extra £6 billion being invested into the NHS. This is why over the next few years we're going to be seeing an increase of close to £34 billion going into the NHS. And uh, over a million NHS staff are going to be receiving uh, pay increases over and above that. Uh, but also, um, we are facing difficult economic challenges. We're facing uh, almost three quarters of a million people who are unemployed. And we have, in the context of that, decided to exempt the NHS from the public sector pay freeze, which is the only part of the public sector that has been exempted from that. At the same time, though, nurses are getting a pay rise of 1%. I mean, inflation next year is expected to be 1.5%. So that works out as a pay cut in real terms. I can't help thinking this has got a flavour of Marcus Rashford about it. You know, everyone can see the U-turn coming. Are you just being wheeled out to defend a policy that the government's going to row back on? Well, over the, the last few years, we've seen record increases in terms of the pay going to our nurses and our doctors, quite rightly. Uh, we are facing... Them. Uh, we're, we're, we're effectively facing a much more difficult economic time and economic period. We've seen a shrinking of our economy of 10%. Uh, but what uh, this is, is part of a process, and we've uh, put this forward uh, to uh, for, for the for nurses and for the NHS. And, uh, uh, but we are always investing in our NHS. This is why we've had a, a record investment this year and continued record investment in our National Health Service over the coming years.